There it is. Gerald Henderson's house. I'm an upcoming director that is really inspired by this man. I studied all of his works. Start to finish. Can't believe I've made it this far. Okay, David, okay. Calm down. There he is. The term I said, no solicitors in my house. David, uh, I can't believe it's you, man. Gerald Henderson, director oh, I, extraordinaire. I'm a huge fan, man. I, oh, I remember. You're that bar coming to do that interview, right? Yeah, I, I have a couple questions oh, for you. God, mind me, my brain's it's, it's totally right, gone. Sir. It's Thirty right. years ago, it's been gone. It's all right, sir. Mind the mess, come in, let's go. Uh, Alright, Cheryl, describe to me the duties of a director. Alright, listen closely, boy. Because a director makes the magic happen. There was no director, there's no movie. Alright? The director is responsible for creating a style for the movie. He um, feels the structure out as well. He knows the structure. And he's got to communicate how the movie's going to look to the rest of the crew. Because if he does it, the movie goes to poop. Poop, you hear. And uh, he's responsible for helping with casting, with the script process. Uh, editing, that's a big part. I'm speaking for experience, boy. And uh, he's the one that brings the team together when they're feeling low. He picks up their spirits and knows just what to say, when to say it. So a true ringleader. A true ring leader. All right, next question. Yes. What kind of skills does the director need, especially right. if you're tight? Good question. Very good question. A uh, director needs to be a good visionary. He needs to see and visualize the project before anyone else does and tell us exactly how it's supposed to look. He uh, needs to be uh, a great leader. He needs to take charge, wear his big boy pants. And uh, he's be creative and passionate. He's, he's not passionate about his craft. He will not do good. <sighs> he needs to be decisive. Make quick decisions all the time. You are working under pressure all the time. <sighs> Great answer. Yes. Next question. Mm. What kind of education do you need to become a director in the industry? No, you don't need any education to become a good director. Some like me are naturally born with it. I was three years old when I made my first movie. I remember it nice and clear. But nowadays it's all about what you have on paper, not back in my day. Now you have to go to school for like film and uh, journalism and communication and maybe even acting just so you can connect to your actors. So. Nowadays, I recommend going. It's not like you used to be. Okay, so I gotta know. What director influenced you the oh, most? Yes, you can ask this a lot. And I have to say Mr. Stanley Kubrick. Because I taught him all he knows. I worked with him on 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, Clockwork Orange, uh, The Shining, and of course, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, he was known in Hollywood to be the first to create the extreme wide chop boy, the first one. And uh, his style's a little cold, actually, I really cold. The coldest in all of Hollywood, I say. And he does a lot of those uh, long tracking shots. I wasn't a big fan of him. I said, Stanley, no one's going to like you. They don't like those long trucking lazy shots, but he does them. You get all the credit for him. He's good. I have to say he's a good one. Like myself, maybe he's second best in Hollywood, next to me. All right, that's all I know, boy. And that's all the questions I have for you, sir. I would just like to say, it's a complete honor to meet you. You are a total inspiration to me. I know, I know, son. I see a great director in you. 
great director indeed. See, it's been known even though my wife for the past 30 years. How would you like to come on set and film with me? Be my assistant director next film. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I don't kid, sir. Not a day of my life did I kid. Shake on it. Well, I'd, be, I'd be honored. I know you would. I'd be honored. I know you would.